it's cold <laughs> and chilly out this morning. <laughs> One of the coldest days yet, so bundle up before you go outside. <laughs> Welcome to the Morning Devotion. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. <laughs> and we are here to encourage you through the Word so that you can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. That's Amen. where true victory is found. Amen. You're cold, aren't you? It's chilly. chilly. It's chilly. <laughs> We're going to take a look continuing in John, 1 John chapter 2. But let's pray first. Heavenly Father, yes. Lord, I pray that today, Lord, that you would warm the hearts yes. of those that are listening. Lord, as the cool air comes in, let it be a freshness. Lord, into their outside body. But Lord, I pray that your word would warm the inside body. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 It's kind of cold mornings like this that I think about how the Holy Spirit is a comforter. Yes. <laughs> and some of you probably <laughs> didn't want to get out from underneath the comforter this morning. Or basically you've been inside, but hopefully you weren't out camping today. We are, again, in 1 John. We're going to start off with, Randy's going to read verses 12, 13, and 14 of 1 John chapter 2. You want to read that version? Not this Go ahead, one, right? you can read your version. Okay. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. What a break. Whew. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong in the word of the God. Excuse me, and you, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you. Amen. And you have overcome the wicked one. Amen. Now, sounds kind of redundant, doesn't it? I write to you little children. I write to you young men. I write to you fathers. I write to you little children. But you know that there's different Greek words that are used there? The little children that are first mentioned in verse number 12 is a Greek word which means infants or newborn, newborns. Then the Greek word little children that is used a second time in verse number 13 means little children, those who are able to walk and talk. Then the Greek word that is used for young men is for those that are in the prime of life, young people. And then finally the word that was used for fathers, a Greek word, for those who are matured in the Lord. These stages are like stages of your Christianity. When you first get saved, you first become a believer in Jesus. The main thing that you know is that your sins are forgiven and that seems like it's enough because having your sins forgiven is a incredibly <laughs> great thing but then as you progress in your christianity you begin to have a a, a zeal a fire when you're when you're young in the prime prime of your your christianity and not that you have to grow old, but a lot of times when people get saved and they mature a little bit, excited. they call it being on fire for God. Yes. They get excited. They can't stop talking about Jesus. And, oh, I remember those days. I've been mm -hmm. told that, boy, you just never could shut up about Jesus. You always <laughs> talked about Jesus. And, and that's a good thing. That's a great testimony. And yes. I always determined to myself that I wouldn't turn into that old coal. <laughs> I know you cook on the coals, but I knew that uh, I, I just wanted to maintain that fire for the Lord. I wanted to maintain that that desire to be servant of the Lord in a meaningful way throughout my entire life. And so, for the for the last thirty eight years, we have been in service to the Lord and doing our dedication to the Lord. Yep. Uh, and he has rewarded us here, but we don't do it for this reward. We do it for the reward which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So when you read that, sometimes you got to go and you got to look into the, the Greek words that were used. And mm -hmm. if you don't have a good Greek Bible, try the Blue Letter Bible. It's a website and an app. Mm -hmm. And you can actually click on it and you can find out what the exact Greek words that were used. Read number 15, because this is an important verse. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, 
The love of the Father is not in him. Do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because what if, if you do, the love of the Father is not in you. Now the word world, love not the world, what does it say? It's a Greek word called... Cosmos? Cosmos. Have you heard that word before? Mm -hmm. The cosmos. In this particular case, it applies to the order, the behavior, the fashions, and the governments of this world. You see, the world has a system. Mm -hmm. And that system that the world has is often not compatible with Christianity. Usually now, <laughs> I have told you many times that we are called as Christians to be good citizens good citizens and obey the laws of this land. Mm -hmm. Be a good citizen as long as being a good citizen does not mean being a bad Christian. I'll say that one more time. We are called to be good citizens as long as being a good citizen does not mean being a bad Christian. Mm -hmm. There are two things, not only to, to not love the world system, but we're not to, to love the things that make up the world system. The world system is, is usually one of rebellion against God. The worldly people, they don't want to be held accountable. They don't want to, to, to acknowledge that they have sinned. Often they'll, they'll say, I don't have sin. Yeah. Well, we know if anyone says he has not sinned, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. Yeah. Those are two things to love. This is don't love this. That's the title of today's devotion. Don't love this. That's a funny thing to say when we know that God is a God of love, but John, the beloved mm -hmm. apostle, said, don't love this. Now, this is what it says, and I want you to read for me verse number 17? 16. Oh, 16. Oh. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of but is of the world. Love for all that is in the world, this world system, is made up of lust of the flesh. I mean, lust, sex is all over the place. Every time you see it, people are trying to use sex to sell stuff. And that goes in through the lust of the eyes. You mm -hmm. look, you see, you want. You see things that you need. You say, oh, isn't that great? I like, oh, ooh. Bigger and house. Bigger, bigger house, bigger More stuff. <laughs> this is the worldly way. This is not the Christian way. And the pride of life literally comes from a Greek word, and I want you to read that for me real quick. This is a Greek word right there. Alonzonia. Which means? Vain boastings used only here and in James, James 4.16. Pride of life, vain boastings. Mm -hmm. I'm so good. Mm -hmm. I am so great. Sometimes you don't even have to say something. You can see people who have a look of arrogance about yeah. them. They they think that they're, that, that they are so privileged or so mm -hmm. special or, or that they deserve they deserve they deserve give me give me give me well that's not the christian way because the christian way is not one of being served but to serve to serve the king of kings showed us that yeah jesus showed us and we're going to finish out with this last verse in 17 because this is this sums up a lot of stuff and the world is passing away and the last lust of it but he who does the will of God abides forever. So don't worry about the world. Don't worry about all these other things because it's going to pass away. Just worry about doing the will of God in your life because he that does the will of God will abide forever. Abide I bet if we forever. look at that word abide, it probably has some really positive meanings to it. Well, I'm dwelling then, with, enjoying it. Probably. Look it up. We'll and have to look that up. Look, look, look up the Greek. <laughs> practice your little blue letter Bible stuff <laughs> and comment below. Thanks for watching on this cold and chilly, breezy morning. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And we want you to keep a praise song in your heart. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Maybe it won't be so cold. Bye. Bye.